What's going on, Lisa? How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Doing good. I can't complain. I can't complain. I'm happy good. to be here. Yes. So for those who don't know you, can you just go ahead and give a little bit of background about who you are and what you do and things like that? All right. So my name is Lisa, but um, I go by Maya. That's my business name. It's actually mm -hmm. my kids' initials. People always ask me where I came up with that. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's my kids' initials. Um, so I do a little bit of I don't know, a little bit of everything. Um, I'm a brand influencer on Instagram. I work with a lot of different clothing companies, mainly. Um, I'm also a photographer. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I also knit. I have a knitting business. So I have another Instagram. This year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you I do it all. I do it all. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything. I used to do hair and makeup, too, but I had to kind of take a back seat on that to yeah, that focus can, on my other stuff. That can get you real busy and bogged down. Yeah. I've, I've done some interviews with a couple of makeup artists, and they say they're always working on something. They're always bogged yes. down with appointments or you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah, I just felt like, I mean, I loved it, but I wasn't, it wasn't like my first passion. So I decided mm. out of all the things, I would kind of push that to the side for now. So. Okay, I got you. That makes yeah. sense. So yeah. can you tell me a little bit? So, you, so you're so you a blogger, correct? Yes. As well, amongst all the other things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they all kind of come together with the okay. blog. Yeah. Okay. Can you kind of just give a little bit of background about the blog and what kind of got you into blogging and, you know, where the blog's at now, how you got there, just sure. kind of the journey of, of what you've been doing. Sure. So it really started with the Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, funny enough, my now husband and I, when we were, um, when he proposed to me, mm -hmm. um, our picture went viral. Oh, wow. And that's actually what started. Yeah. So our picture went viral for two reasons. The first reason was actually n negative. I had a lot of women in particular that kind of bashed on the fact that I'm a plus size girl and I had this like fit man. And so, mm. um, so I had got like gained a ton of followers from that, but it wasn't, it wasn't like good followers. Right. Um, and then it flipped and a lot of women came to my defense and a lot of other bloggers started blogging our picture. So mm. from there I started growing my Instagram audience. Um, and it, the second time it brought me a lot more like women who were looking to, um, I guess relate to my story. Cause I talked a lot on my Instagram. I would write paragraphs of the things that I've been through. Okay. Um, so from that I decided I needed to have something outside of social media. And that's when I started right. the blog. Um, and in my blog, it's mainly, um, it's a lot of fashion. It's, that's kind of what I do daily. But from mm -hmm. that, it's a lot of inspiration, especially um, for women, um, especially curvy women. Um, right. Sadly, once my page blew up, I would get so many messages from women who just d wanted to know how I became confident, how I was able to like attract the kind of man that I wanted and things like that made me really sad because I didn't even think like I never thought like especially like when I met my husband or just in the dating world that I would ha I could only pick a certain guy. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but the messages that were coming to me were women who just felt like they can't you know, approach a guy that may look a certain way because he may not be into them. So, mm. um, so in my blog, I, I do talk about the things that I've been through that has brought me to where I am now. Um, of course, like I said, you're going to see a lot of, you know, fashion and beauty stuff too, because that's, you know, what I love to do. Um, I also share a lot, um, of my marriage and my relationship and where, you know, we are now and where, how we got here. Cause that's a big part of my story too. So definitely that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, excuse my language but people are really shitty online you know especially oh, yeah. especially on social media i yeah. mean like you like people get this because they get behind a computer they get behind a phone and they just say whatever they want because yeah. they have that it's not anonymity because you can still know who they are but they could be states away you know and they just yeah. have the confidence to say whatever about you and not even know anything about you exactly you know? yeah and it was crazy because when it first the first go around with it i mean i i've I've been in the plus size like modeling world for many, many years. So I mm -hmm. um, started developing a thick skin doing that, you know, right. um, I was like, whoa, like some of the stuff that was said about me or about us or um, where it was shared. I mean, it like I had to take a step back and I almost like shut down everything because it was mm -hmm. really hard. Um, but thankfully, there would be those few messages from women that would come to me thanking me for being as open as I am about my life and my journey or whatnot. Right. And that's where I decided, okay, you know, I have to kind of ignore the negativity because it is, first of all, it's a lot of projection because most of it was coming from women and it was right. like, they're, you know, projecting how they feel about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, once I realized like, you know, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, I realized like I started feeling bad for them. Like 
Because I can never imagine going to a stranger's page and saying half the things that were said about me. Right. Like, you know, so, um, and then I decided I needed to turn this into more of an empowerment, you know, and yeah. thankfully that journey has brought me a lot more of like quality people that really, you know, um, want to hear what I have to say, want to see mm. what we're doing and, you know, so. That's good. Yeah. Because I mean, when you get all those followers i mean obviously the negativity comes with it yeah and just kind of like you said you kind of have to develop a thick skin and kind of just go with it and at the end of the day realize that these people are actually the ones that are hurting exactly. and they're they're saying yeah. these things like you said because they're projecting yeah. things in their life onto you and they're jealous of where you are honestly that's that's yeah. what it is it's jealousy at the end of the day because them going out of their way to spread hate you know what i'm yeah. saying it shows they care you know that that's true yeah right there's yeah. some there's some level of care behind that because if you didn't care at all you wouldn't have even bothered to say anything, yeah you keep you going know? exactly right. yeah exactly that's awesome though so your blog is um can you give me a little bit of background about like what's well one what's your website for your blog it's uh my creates I almost said the other one. Sorry. MayaCreates.com. <laughs> okay. I had another one because that one wasn't available the first time. I got um, you. So yeah, MayaCreates.com is the blog name. Okay. Nice. And it's, um, can you give me a little bit of background about like the design process and kind of the journey with that? Because I used to do a little bit of web design myself. Okay. And um, it can be tedious. It can, <laughs> it can be very tedious. It so can. can you kind of just give me a little bit of backstory to what sure. kind of got you where you are? Yeah. So I played around. I mean, I've been, I've, photography was my first thing that I've done. It's been, mm -hmm. uh, oh my gosh, 14 years now. Okay, um, nice. yeah. And it's funny because I wasn't the other thing, like in those 14 years I have, I went through a divorce. Um, and during that time I just kind of turned all my creative stuff off and I had to do like, I had to get a nine to five. I had to kind of change. Um, but from the photography, I mean, I've always dabbled with websites and um, I'm really particular about how obviously my brand looks out there. So right. um, I had initially went with different other blogging sites and, um, you know, it looked great. But the amount of work that it took for me to keep up with that and to do a lot of the coding and everything was just it was just taking too much time. And with everything else I was doing, I realized I didn't want to, you know, blog myself down with working on or building my um my blog so mm -hmm. to me i felt like as long as it's clean it's to the point and i can say what i want to say because that's my biggest thing about it you know um right. is being able to have my voice out there um so i you know recently switched um and went with squarespace because it was just it's just really easy um it looks great it's just very it's very clean um but it also allows you to build on that if you choose so um in october no actually last month um, is when I switched over, um, with them. So, okay. yeah, so I'm still building on it, but it's already, my first blog post was so much faster nice. than my previous ones. Yeah. I got you. Have you, uh, have you tried Wix at all? I, I did Wix. Ask for it all the time, but. Yeah, I did Wix and it's so funny cause so the first one I was telling you about before I had that once the year was up and I realized like it, like I said, it was beautiful, but it was mm -hmm. just so much work. Plus, when you when you're a blogger and you're looking to obviously expand, you want people to come, you know, read what you're doing or whatever. It was hard to figure out how to get an audience already with Squarespace. Right. I haven't even I mean, I've been promoting it, but not as much as I should. I'm already getting emails from companies that have just seen um, the very little things that I've already put on there. So um, okay. but because of the platform it's you know they they are able to bring their own people on to look at your stuff too so but yeah wix is great um the only thing that with wix unless you pay for it it's like the first thing you see is this is powered by wix right <laughs> you know they got I mean? their little banner or <laughs> yeah. whatever you call it the footer or whatever yeah it is. and then sometimes it's at the top too oh wow so i dabbled in that too because i wanted to you know i wanted to give it all a fair try before i settled on something right and it was cool but i just couldn't get past and I didn't want to pay for it yet because I wanted to make sure, you know, I was good with it. But I feel like a lot of them kind of look the same. So it's like when you go to a blog, you can kind of tell who is running it. And okay. I just wanted it to like, I didn't want it to be so easy for people to guess like this is being run by this site. Right. You didn't want it to be like be cookie cutter or anything like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I got yeah. you. And you said you mentioned now you mentioned the audience thing. Now, that's that's a big thing that a lot of people have trouble with is is finding an audience and yeah. how to attract an audience because you know if you put yourself on social media you make a, a business page right uh-huh 
it's just you out yeah. there. It's just your business out there and then the yeah. world. And you're wondering, okay, how can I get the world to notice this? Exactly. You know? So, I mean, yeah. how can you give like a little backstory? Like, I mean, you got search engine optimization, things like that. But yeah. um, what are some other marketing tools that, that people could benefit from? Well, so, yeah. So, you have um, all kinds of things that you could do within your blog. But I feel like, obviously, with social media being so big, I feel like it kind of starts there. So mm. the one thing I started doing, especially when I realized I really wanted to go in the blogger direction was I started studying other bloggers. Um, there's a lot of them out there that will talk to you about how they, you know, grew their audience and whatnot. Um, but the one thing that I realized is that you start with your social media and for, for instance, like if I post something like I'm doing this today or whatever, mm -hmm. um, less, I used to, like I said, write paragraphs under my post. Right. Now it's like, I'm going to write. I got to do this today, post a picture, but I want to talk about it more on my blog. So I'm sending my audience from my social media mm. to my blog. I got um, you. So, and whether that be through Twitter, you know, Instagram, Facebook, or whatever, starting with the social media, because I mean, we're all, we're in a generation where we just want quick and fast. And right. you know what I mean? Right. Um, so you catch their eye there, but then you send them for more to your blog. So okay. that has helped a lot. Hashtags, of course, are always going to be. It's still like, you know, Instagram, for example, always changes like their algorithm. So you're always having to chase after, you know, how to keep your audience. Right. Because um, they like to kind of shadow ban your stuff sometimes. And so they don't mm. show it to enough people. Um, but hashtags are always going to be. So if I hashtag like blogger, it's going to bring a whole different kind of audience to my page. And then once again, we'll send them off to my blog. So, OK, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been dabbling with uh with hashtags myself, I got to try like hashtag podcast for like this one. And then yes, I would get yeah. random pages yeah. just out of the blue that would like, like the post. It's like, Oh wow. That's pretty, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know that that was a thing. Yeah. And um, like you said, kind of directing people to your main content. So like I'll put like snippets on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Yeah. And then I'm like, you know, for the full video, go here, you know, for exactly. YouTube, you know, exactly. And, yeah. So the, the, the good thing about Instagram, though, is uh, so you have over 10,000 followers. So you have the option to where you can add your actual link in your story. Correct. Exactly. So like you yeah, swipe, you swipe up. Swipe you can, up. OK. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's huge because yeah. it's, it's right there. It's available. People exactly. can just click on it immediately. Yeah. yeah. So that and when you had posted uh, about the self Junction page, like literally like I got like 20 followers. Like, oh, oh. damn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I definitely appreciate that. <laughs> no problem. And it's funny because that's that's kind of like right now the bread and butter because right. once you do reach a certain amount of followers you start to have companies that are obviously using you to market for them mm -hmm. um and which is a great thing um right. you know in the beginning when i started doing that it it helped me um to create more content for myself so it's like i was getting paid by these companies but it's also helping me because i was being able to you know create the content from what they were sending me okay um so but yeah it's 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 very um it's crazy because like I hit 10,000 followers at some point and and like I said, that was when I was first engaged. Mm -hmm. um, and then as it slowly started to climb, um, you know, my audience kind of changed like what they wanted to see. And all of a sudden it was like less about him and I and it was more about like me talking about, like I said, the struggles and things that I've been through before right, I got to right. him. You know what I mean? So it's always evolving and I'm learning through my audience on Instagram, like what people want to hear from me. Mm -hmm. So once again, that kind of connects to my blog too. You know, like when I decide on what topic I want to discuss, um, I really see like what people were, you know, have engaged when they, they comment or they send me DMs, like the questions that they want right now. It's a lot of it is like, and it's always been mostly women, but a lot of it right now is all about like relationship advice and okay. uh, feeling insecure in relationships and things like that. Like I have a lot mm -hmm. of messages and I always think about like how like it's harder for me to like respond individually. So then I will take like if all these people are asking about this question, then obviously this is a good topic to discuss on my blog. Okay. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. That makes that makes perfect sense because yeah. I mean, a lot of people, like you said, want to hear things that are one motivating and two. Yeah they can relate to. So Most definitely now that you, now that you've gone through these things and you can share your story and have people see it, you know, they get, they get inspiration, they get confidence. I mean, whatever yeah. the case may be from your um, story, your trials and tribulations, things like that. Definitely. Now, can you tell me a little bit about when you said you do like some modeling for like uh, plus size and things like that? I saw you had like fashion Nova, uh, is it fashion Nova curves or it's yeah. So it's fashion Nova, but yeah, they have okay. a curve department. So okay, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can you just tell me a little bit about that? Like how, like, 
working with them is or, or any any companies really yeah. with their clothes like is it just they send you a product and you wear it or do you buy it, you go out and buy the product and then just mention them and then they like you know interact with you how does that come yeah work? so um fashion nova is like the biggest one of the biggest companies now that i get to work with um mm-hmm. every company will be different how they approach you in the beginning most of the stuff i did was they sent me clothes i wore it took pictures in it and then shouted them out. Um, okay. They'll give me a, a like a coupon code to share with my followers. Um, I've worked with companies that um, would send me their product, and they would give me a kickback for everything that, like, if someone used my code to buy something, I would get a kickback from that. Okay. Um, as your followers grow and you start really hitting high numbers, then you can obviously start charging. So you get the free product, but you also have a fee that you charge to promote this these companies and that's where i'm at right now with most of the companies that i work with okay i will still um i love small businesses Mm. i'm a small business so when i have like individual boutiques small businesses reach out to me um i will most definitely still like they'll send me a product i'll style it for them wear it model it and shout them out um so but yeah fashion nova there's uh shein is like a international company that i work with um and i'm at the point now where there's a few that i'm like i'll say no to if i feel like it's not really something that a i'll wear or it might be a little bit out of price range for like the most of the people that i know follow me oh, okay, um, that's nice. unless they're giving me like a good discount to give to my followers right um i started working recently with and it's funny because everybody jokes this but i i actually used it before i promoted it but the flat tummy tea Mm. like all these you know you'll see like the kardashians will use it and right so it's gotten a bad rap because people feel like they're just you know the company pays you 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 promote it when these companies reach out to you a lot of times they don't even have like a contract they just want you to do this so in my in my opinion i'm like i've always been very open and honest with my um followers or whatnot so i don't want to just take the money and say it works or whatever so when they first sent it to me like we both my husband and I both tried it out to make sure, you know, and it legit was, you know, like a good product. Like, so right, that's good. Yeah. So I started promoting that. But then I would see like other people talk about it and be like, you know, these influencers are selling out. And, cause, you know, <laughs> right, right. And I'm like, well, and I always <laughs> tell people like it's not like the stuff is not meant to like on its own help you lose weight. Like it's an aid. Right. Like, you still got to do the work. Exactly. It just helps you. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, so, but I'm looking to expand that even more and work with a lot more like wellness, health and wellness companies, um, okay. beauty, makeup. Um, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And like you said, you gotta, you gotta put the work into it. That's why I tell everybody like, you know, they like, you know, just expect like blessings, you know, or yeah, I'm gonna get blessed. God's gonna bless me. I'm like, yeah, but you gotta, you gotta put the work in too. You can't just yes. expect things to fall on your lap and that's just what's gonna happen. You have to actually yeah. go out, pursue it, put in the work and then the blessings will come afterwards. I but agree. you have to go yeah. out and get it yourself too. So most definitely. And, and a lot of people will hit me up about asking me like how this works. And that's, mm-hmm. that's a huge thing right there too, because it's, like, I never not, I'm never not working. On yeah, one of my business, exactly. you know what I mean. Right. My family will see that more than anybody else because people see these pictures and you know that's the little square is your life. Right. Um, behind the scenes, you know, there are nights I'm up till three or four in the morning. Um, you know, and then getting right back up as soon as the sun comes up. You know, like yeah. the work yep. is there. So it's like it's I didn't just you know happen upon um, this. It just fell on my lap and it's like oh this is cool. Like there's a lot of work that goes you know into cultivating the blogs and you know the pictures and all of that so absolutely yeah because I, I i understand completely because i do it work outside of you know the podcast and stuff like that yeah so that's a full-time job and then when i'm not doing that i'm here you know setting up interviews yeah. you know, doing interviews editing the, you know recording the podcast whatever the case may be i'm always doing something else when i'm not at work i've yeah. never it's, I need to take I need to take some time and just chill, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's important too. That's yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's always just you know consistently working. There's always something that I'm working on, yeah. so um, I think I'm gonna take some time off in the next couple of weeks though, just kind of relax, you know, kind of right yeah. regroup, and then you know start the new year off strong. Yeah. So can you kind of give any words of wisdom, I guess, for anybody that wants to start a blog, or anybody that wants to kind of share their story? What what's some advice that you could give for that? Um, first of all, like what you had just said was one of the best advice. Like it's, it's going to take work. Mm. Um, and 
you know, too many times people jump into something that they love and when they don't see the instant gratification, they kind of, you know, slow down on it. You just got to right. keep pushing, pushing, pushing. You know, if it's something you're truly passionate about, everything that's meant for you is going to happen for you. Right. Um, don't allow people, don't allow yourself to compare yourself to other people's successes because once again, we just see when we're on social media, we are not seeing the behind the scenes, that's, you know? That's powerful. That's, that's yeah. exactly, that's exactly what people need to hear because they see, because a lot of times people don't post their failures. So like if I if I have a failure or a shortcoming, I try and post it. That way people know I'm still human. They know yes. it's not always perfect. Yeah. It's not all roses, you know? Exactly. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things. Like I notice sometimes there'll be, you know, I, I've even gotten caught up in like certain things that I post and I'm like, oh, I'm afraid to post this because it doesn't look as good as that. Right. And then I'm just like, most of the time when I post those other things is when more people are like, you know what? Like, I like seeing that, mm -hmm. you know, um, I joke that you either get this or you get like a very scary version of it. <laughs> There's not a whole lot in between, but I, I post the scary stuff too. So you can see like, it's right, not right. always what it appears to be. Exactly. Um, and I think, and I've been, a, I've been guilty of this. There's certain bloggers I look at and, you know, um, I want to be where they're at, where they're at at that moment, and I mm -hmm. realize like it's you know they did what they had to do to get to their, you know, on their journey. My journey is going to be a little bit different, and that's a goal that I want. I'm going to set that goal up, but I'm not going to give myself like, oh, I have to have it done by this time because right. you know if not, I'm a failure or whatnot. Right. Um, all of this is honestly something I've always wanted to do. I'm so incredibly grateful I get to do it. I'm grateful that people actually want to hear what I have to say. Yeah. Um, I have been through a lot in my life and I feel like now I'm understanding that all, all of that was for a reason. And mm -hmm. if it can help anybody or one person, however many, um, that's my reason. So I'm going to continue putting myself out there and, you know, um, the audience that wants to see it and read it and hear about it are going to find it. Absolutely. You know? So absolutely. And that's, and that's a huge part of it. Like you said, people want that instant gratification. They want to be successful off rip as soon as they do it they want it to you know just automatically hit like you're not you're not always going to have 100 percent field goal percentage you're going to miss you know there's it, and it takes time it takes yes. work like like we've been talking about it takes work it takes consistency too you have to be consistent when you're doing these things yeah. and all that all that stuff will come i mean it's not about like when you're when you're becoming successful or when you do become successful the journey is what is the most powerful the most meaningful not most the actual definitely. success itself exactly because like you said if you if you're truly passionate about it, it doesn't matter if you become successful or not because you like doing it. You exactly. Know? So. Exactly. And honestly, like I told you um, before we started this, when I saw when I saw your page, when I saw what you were doing, mm -hmm. that's the first thing I saw. When I saw that what you had put into what you were doing, it made me really excited to be a part of it because like that's like I love people who are go getters and people who pursue their stuff. Right. And I could see that from. I mean, I can see it from what you have in here too. Like, like you can see passion. Yeah. So it's nice to be, you know, around people like that because it right. kind of, you know, you feed off of that. And, Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, for myself, like I'm a creative person. I love being around other creatives. You know, mm -hmm. I don't look at where they're at in, in that process, but it's like right. being a part of that creative process. It's amazing. So exactly. Yeah. Because it is, it is a process, you know, cause I mean, yeah. you know, right now we're sitting at like. 135 subscribers you know 100 some followers on instagram i mean it's still starting out provided we started back in october so yeah. there's still plenty of time for room you know not room there's plenty of time for growth there's <laughs> yes. room for growth yes um so i mean tom tom is on my side you know and i'm Definitely. not i'm not in a hurry for anything like that and, and yeah. I, like you said being around other creators it kind of is like a like a recharge almost you know yeah because like i'll have moments where i'm just like oh man i don't feel like doing anything or i don't, <laughs> I don't want to like do this and you know i see other people like yourself and I just get inspired. I'm like, yeah, you know, yeah. I want to, I want to go do this now. I'm gonna get back into it, and you know, just, just get back to work. You know, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And that's a good point too, because it's like using other people to motivate you, not to right. make you feel bad about where you're at in your journey, but to exactly. motivate you is is a huge one. Yeah. So that's what I tell everybody. Like everybody, like I tell I tell people like, don't look at what I have, because like, so for example, I'm 24. I have a house. You know, I have multiple vehicles. Yeah. People that are in my age group typically don't have all that yeah so i always tell people don't use that as something to discourage you use it as something to motivate exactly. you because everybody's timeline is different exactly you know you yeah. like five years from now you might be a millionaire making more than i'm making yeah and doing way more than i'm doing you know yeah it's, it's all about the timeline it's all about the journey it's all about sticking to what you like to do exactly because people always get lost in the nine to five they get lost in the rat race they get lost in whatever they want to do yes and 
now they're 20 years down the line never got to do what they wanted to do and have a life full of regret you know i i feel that oh. yeah <laughs> yeah because because cause, cause me personally i would just i would rather do something and fail at it than yes. not do it and be like and regret that wow i wonder what would have happened if i did this that is the you worst know? feeling it's so funny because i tell my daughter um she'll make jokes about you know the companies that i work with and stuff mm-hmm. you know she'll borrow my clothes or whatever and and, and then she'll <laughs> borrow my clothes and she'll take pictures in it and post it like oh this is fashion you know? <laughs> and she'll be like i just want to be on that and i'm like you know mm-hmm. it, it, it took me a long time you know what i mean like right. it, i mean i have four children two of them are adults like mm-hmm. it took me a long time to get to this place and right. you know I still have so much more I want to do, you know, and, Mm. and, but every day I see myself getting closer to those goals. It just pushes me even more, you know? And so I really started removing like all the outside, you know, what I was hearing because years ago, I mean, I would have friends of mine that would make jokes like you cannot make money off of photography. You can't make money off of, you know, I have people when my followers started climbing, Oh, they're only following you because you know, of your husband. And that would like be in the back of my head, but that was also my motivator to show like, no, I want, like, I want people to hear what I have to say. I want other women to feel empowered. Like I've been through a divorce, you know, I found like the person I was meant to be with, you know, I want women to, to, to see all that and see like, there was a time where I was just a housewife raising kids and I always knew at the end of the road, this is what I wanted when it came to like working for myself and whatnot, Mm -hmm. but it took a long time to get there. But like you said, there's no timeline on, you know, finding your passion and and going after it. So. Right. Yeah. And and like when I, when I first met you today and and you're a husband, you know, I could, I could tell that that there's genuine, you know, and a world full of disingenuous people is very difficult to find genuine people in genuine relationships. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, congratulations to both of you. That's, that's powerful. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Do you have anything else that you wanted to kind of add? I just want to thank you for letting me do this. Okay, really. no, no, definitely. Hey, thank, thank you for, <laughs> for coming out and, and doing it, you know. It's a great ending of 2018, let me right. tell you. Right, <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. No, I appreciate it. So for those who are listening, make sure y'all go to her blog. Check that out. It's Maya Creatives. MyCreates.com. MyCreates.com. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, definitely check out MyCreates.com. And thank you, Maya, again. I appreciate thank you coming out. Thank you so out. much. Absolutely, you, no problem. <laughs>